Welcome to Immerse Poets Reading for Week 8, Day 37. The house of the wicked will be destroyed, but the tent of the godly will flourish. There is a path before each person that seems right, but it ends in death. Laughter can conceal a heavy heart, but when the laughter ends, the grief remains. Backsliders get what they deserve. Good people receive their reward. Only simpletons believe everything they're told. The prudent carefully consider their steps. The wise are cautious and avoid danger. Fools plunge ahead with reckless confidence. Short-tempered people do foolish things, and schemers are hated. Simpletons are clothed with foolishness, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. Evil people will bow before good people, the wicked will bow at the gates of the godly. The poor are despised even by their neighbors, while the rich have many friends. It is a sin to belittle one's neighbor. Blessed are those who help the poor. If you plan to do evil, you will be lost. If you plan to do good, you will receive unfailing love and faithfulness. Work brings profit, but mere talk leads to poverty. Wealth is a crown for the wise. The effort of fools yields only foolishness. A truthful witness saves lives, but a false witness is a traitor. Those who fear the Lord are secure. He will be a refuge for their children. Fear of the Lord is a life-giving fountain. It offers escape from the snares of death. A growing population is a king's glory, a prince without subjects has nothing. People with understanding control their anger. A hot temper shows great foolishness. A peaceful heart leads to a healthy body. Jealousy is like cancer in the bones. Those who oppress the poor insult their maker, but helping the poor honors him. The wicked are crushed by disaster but the godly have a refuge when they die. Wisdom is enshrined in an understanding heart. Wisdom is not found among fools. Godliness makes a nation great, but sin is a disgrace to any people. A king rejoices in wise servants, but is angry with those who disgrace him. A gentle answer deflects anger, but harsh words make tempers flare. The tongue of the wise makes knowledge appealing, but the mouth of a fool belches out foolishness. The Lord is watching everywhere, keeping his eye on both the evil and the good. Gentle words are a tree of life. A deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. Only a fool despises a parent's discipline. Whoever learns from correction is wise. There is treasure in the house of the godly but the earnings of the wicked bring trouble. The lips of the wise give good advice. The heart of a fool has none to give. The Lord detests the sacrifice of the wicked, but he delights in the prayers of the upright. The Lord detests the way of the wicked, but he loves those who pursue godliness. Whoever abandons the right path will be severely disciplined. Whoever hates correction will die. Even death and destruction hold no secrets from the Lord. How much more does he know the human heart? Mockers hate to be corrected, so they stay away from the wise. A glad heart makes a happy face. A broken heart crushes the spirit. A wise person is hungry for knowledge, while the fool feeds on trash. For the despondent, every day brings trouble. For the happy heart, life is a continual feast. Better to have little with fear for the Lord than to have great treasure and inner turmoil. A bowl of vegetables with someone you love is better than steak with someone you hate. A hot-tempered person starts fights. A cool-tempered person stops them. A lazy person's way is blocked with briars, but the path of the upright is an open highway. Sensible children bring joy to their father.
Foolish children despise their mother. Foolishness brings joy to those with no sense. A sensible person stays on the right path. Plans go wrong for lack of advice. Many advisors bring success. Everyone enjoys a fitting reply. It is wonderful to say the right thing at the right time. The path of life leads upward for the wise. They leave the grave behind. The Lord tears down the house of the proud, but He protects the property of widows. The Lord detests evil plans, but He delights in pure words. Greed brings grief to the whole family, but those who hate bribes will live. The heart of the godly thinks carefully before speaking. The mouth of the wicked overflows with evil words. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. This concludes today's Immerse Reading Experience. Thank you for joining us.